Hi everyone. Right, so here we go. Um, with a line and wash, I'm going to try and do this really, really quickly. A line and wash tutorial with very minimal colour of the scene of, of this this scene of um, Lodderton Hall, where I walk most days with the dog in the grounds. Um, so without any further ado, let's have a crack. Um, I've already uh, kind of worked out in my in my head how I want this to look. In fact, if I confess, I've already drawn it once um, and filmed it, but unknowns to me, I've done the filming in um, in slow motion. So the video is 58 minutes long, and when I came to try and edit, I only realised when I came to try and edit it to upload it to YouTube. It was completely unusable. Um, so what I'm going to do, this is a clipped box hedge. Um, not too interested in this really. I want to get this hole into the right perspective and scale because this is the third time I've drawn this now. Really, I'll, I'll, I'll confess that um, take two did this this bit far too big. And the result was it was nearly cropped off the the edge of my sketchbook. I might show you that in a bit. Um, so I'm desperately trying these days to to do more more loose less tight accurate drawings unless of course it's for a a commission where accuracy and tidiness is often more desirable than artistic um mark making so but on here yeah, there you go that's better that's under the i'll put some dark in here now so it reminds me where i am and that's under this grand canopy and there's a square box or something there probably got plants in it and that's i put some darks in with the pen at this stage so um when I come back, I'm going to be roughly in the right place. Now let's have a look at this. There you go. See, I've already, already scaled it up too big to fit the whole thing on the page. But I'm definitely not going to have four cracks at this. So I'm hoping this will be be near enough um you'll have to tell me if you find this useful having the reference photograph in view all the time i'm not technically clever enough with um with my youtube editing skills yet to to be able to superimpose a thumbnail of the reference picture but I'll, I'll find out how to do it but i hope this helps having that there so you can, you can actually see where i've gone wrong right now we're on one of these um areas where I'm beginning to wish i'd waited until later in the year when these trees were all in all in uh, leaf so don't have to deal with all these all these branches let's have a look that goes up there and there's one that goes up there by no stretch of any imagination could anybody ever hope to be expected to draw every single leaf and twig um, but I sh I'll leave all that, all this busyness up there for when I put the 
the colour on the uh, when I put some colour on there you go that's that gable M which is in, in deep shadow again I kind of know there's a, let's strengthen that and there's a window there on the other end on that building Strengthen that because that's under there. Do this. Draw that down there. Now this is coming out this way. Uh, sorry, I'm mumbling to myself here when I should really be, um, <coughs> excuse me, should really be um, providing a, a commentary. To be fair, the first time I filmed it, I was quite pleased with the commentary. It was full of um, insightful knowledge and tips. Um, but now this being the kind of the third or fourth time I've drawn it. Um, the spontaneity is gone. So... Um, the thing is, I'm filming on a brand new phone. I've got myself an iPhone 12, so I'm um, hoping that the eventual quality of the, this video, if it makes it to YouTube intact, is, uh, is worth persevering with. Anyway, so here we go. I'm just, just popping these in here. Stone balustrades. Yeah, I think that's probably probably enough. Um, so now then, we've got a chimney there. It's got a lovely dark. Again, when I took this, it was probably what eleven ish, eleven thirty on a morning, and the sun was out. It was lovely, and you can see that the sun's coming from this end. Right, this end. A nice window there. Again, not by any stretch of anybody's imagination is this intended to be an architectural technical drawing. Um, it's it's just like a well, it's no, it's more than a sketch because I think a sketch. If this were a an actual sketch I would have finished by now so it's uh, any to me anything that's more than five minutes is a drawing not a sketch um, that's just my particular predilection and and this is a bit more considered than a sketch because I'm I'm planning it and working my way through right now this is interesting this is the raised bit, which I think the room behind this is the um, is the grand drawing room where they at Christmas have the Christmas tree lit. So uh, I think this must be the raised bit, some kind of fat. I think behind there, correct me if I'm wrong. I think there's a another another chimney pot because there's a grand fireplace. Although I might be wrong. It's that long since I've been in the hall. Um, see, that's going to go up there. It's going up there. So. For now. That's the drawing done, the, the the initial drawing bit done. So, oh, sorry, just here, there. That's the roof of a of the small chapel that just kind of peeks out there. So I shall um, I shall include a bit of that. But that's the drawing bit done now. 
and I shall now I shall move on once I've got this this is an interesting technique you can put the shade in or you can put some darks in to indicate some tone um, with your pen and then when you wash over with the same colour one colour which you'll see as I do it now uh, in a second you'll see you'll perceive that the same colour wash which is there which is going to be a light green when it gets onto the pen things it turns that it's just one other way of, of depicting shadows it's a lot more time consuming than um, than using paint to have the same effect so there you go how long has that been it's been about 10 minutes to get to that stage and I'm actually not that displeased with it so I think I think with me it's uh, a case of fourth time lucky with this with this scene so there you go that's that bit of roof and I'll add all a lot of this over the over the sky wash so there you go that's the drawing bit now and we'll move on to the painting 